Hey Smokers, Drago1 here. Are you scared of the new crack WPA2 exploit? You afraid your password is going to be sniffed when you're trying to use some off-brand mail provider or you have an Android device that hasn't been patched by your manufacturer yet or whatever, however the whole Android pipeline for updates works? Well, don't worry. Because I have a solution for you. And no, it doesn't involve you throwing your router in the trash and giving up on Wi-Fi. Introducing Draga One's Secure Wi-Fi. Protecting you from unlikely hackers and those random war drivers all for absolutely free. It uses the never-before-seen Draga One method of using Wi-Fi so bad that no one will be able to sniff your passwords. You can get it all set up yourself at home with just a few easy steps. Uh, in this example, I'm going to be using a Mac Mini. First step, you want to make sure you open the case and take out your SSD. I know it's pretty sad we got to take that out, but we got to do it. And take a look at our Wi-Fi card here. As you can see, we still have those Wi-Fi antennas connected. We're going to need to just go ahead and pop those right off. All you have to do after that is plug your SSD back in and you're back on the road. And for those of you who don't have a Mac Mini, just find your router or Wi-Fi card and unscrew its antenna. Or you can turn down the transmission power of your router. But wait, what do we do now? All you have to do next is set up some internet connection sharing from that Mac Mini, from Ethernet, you know, where it's nice and safe, to Wi-Fi. That's right, we're going to share from Ethernet right to Wi-Fi. So this is our Mac Mini right here, and it's sharing Internet to the world. But is it safe? Check out these three devices. They all have constantly refreshing Wi-Fi menus, searching for a Wi-Fi network. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of them, because I live in an apartment complex. But um, the network we have which is called 101010, doesn't appear on any of them. And the devices in question are literally one foot from the computer. So you're probably thinking, well, that's great, Juraga. Nobody can see my network. But I can't either. So what am I supposed to do? Well, take a look at this. If you put your phone precisely over the area where the Wi-Fi card is, with a little luck, you have to match up on the back that the hole actually is right here and you can match the Wi-Fi antenna which I'm assuming is up here and you can actually get it to connect and it'll show about uh, two bars so it almost thinks that the phone is kinda far away from the router and it's probably not actually getting that good of a connection and as you can see you can get Wi-Fi that actually works you have completely secure Wi-Fi and you know it's secure when you're holding it literally right next to it and um, it's not actually getting any signal at all. If you actually put another phone on the Mac Mini it will show up but with very very low signal. So this can be sort of your Wi-Fi safe space in uncertain times. Literally no one will be able to sniff you whatsoever but you are going to have some horrendous um, signal quality. So at this point, you're probably asking, well, this is nice if I want to like, oh, I don't know, uh, you know, have my phone download updates or something. It can be sort of like a charging spot for it. And that's cool and stuff, but the problem is that what if you want to use the device and watch videos and stuff? Um, how is that supposed, how is that supposed to be functional? How is that supposed to be feasible? I mean, I don't see that being very feasible. I mean, it's very inconvenient to sit here and have to type on the thing. I mean, it's just not very ergonomic, and it sucks. Well, I have a solution for that as well. It comes in the form of good old Mighty Putty. You take a good amount. Let's not get too carried away here. How about like that? You lift up the phone like this, and you put the putty underneath the phone. And sort of squish it down like that. And then... Maybe take another little bit and have it like like that, I guess, so that you know it's for sure attached. 
so it's not going to go anywhere. And we can skip through this video and it will actually still buffer. So that's good. Let's skip back to the beginning. But now what are we going to do? What does it matter that we got putty on our phone and our Mac Mini? Well, all you got to do now. Hey, hey, how about that? Take that to the couch. Take that, you know, you know, wherever you want around your house. You know, if you're on the go, you can use your mobile 3G or 4G or whatever. But, you know, not everybody has infinite data, right? So, if you're at home and you got fast internet, you're paying for fast internet, you want to use that internet, hook it up like this. And if, if things are even better, perhaps you can set up a Mac Mini that has um, an even newer Wi-Fi card and not like a crappy one like this, so you can get even better speeds. And you're probably thinking, well, how are the cables going to reach? Well, you can always go out and buy more Ethernet cable. You can buy extension cables for the power. That's no problem. You don't have to have this. You can have this headless. And, you know, you could... It's a little warm, but it's got a fan. It's all right. Things might get a little hot, but, you know, it's worth the safety and security. Since some phones don't actually have a way to connect internet to them, like some Android phones, I could probably do it with this. You can connect to Ethernet. If, that's, if you have one of those phones, just do that, okay? But if you don't know how to do that, or you don't have the right equipment, and you just so happen to have a Mac Mini sitting around, and you could rip the Wi-Fi antennas out of it, then go ahead and freaking do it, because that's the way to go. Now, just how fast is fast? Let's find out. That's fucking horseshit. So there you go, everyone. The Draga One secure Wi-Fi solution for those paranoid about the WPA2 crack. Now you'll know for sure that no one's gonna be snooping on your Wi-Fi, because sometimes you won't even be able to. Thanks for watching.